Hello everyone. Earlier tonight, Sony announced a new PlayStation 3 firmware, the 3.65. And right now, I'm just going to show you very simple how to bypass that firmware. And just to show you that I haven't updated to the newest firmware, 3.65, here it says the latest update was found, 3.65. And what you do is you go all the way down to network settings, internet connection settings, uh, you choose custom, then you choose whatever you like, wired or wireless, then you scan, since I'm using wireless, uh, then I just choose the web and write in the code. Like that. And at magic, do not set. And on the DNS settings, you choose manual. On the primary DNS, you're gonna write 67. Like that. And on the next, you're gonna write 202. And you're going to do the same on the secondary. And you're going to write 81. Like that. And on the last one, you're going to write 137. Um, I do the same on both. But I'm not sure you have to do that. Maybe you can just. Maybe you can get the same effect by just doing one. But since I know that it works with uh, writing the DNS server on both, I'm going to do that. Um, since this is a boring part, you can actually just skip it later on in the video. But I'm just done in just a few seconds now. Um, like that. And automatic, do not set, enable and enter and test connection see everything um, succeeded and I guess it's now going to be succeeded succeeded as you can see succeeded and just to show you that I don't have to update right now I will um, go to the system update System update, update via internet, and the latest firmware on the PlayStation on the system is already installed. Well, there's no need to update. So now I can just log on to the PlayStation 3. Signing in, please wait. And um, now it works. Well, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Bye.